Hi, welcome back to the next installment of Follett, the video book. Um, this little snippet is definitely, completely, totally not safe for work or children. Um, don't even think about it. But trust me on this one. Um, it's explicit. It's different. Um, if, <laughs> I don't know what else to warn you about, but if you have any qualms, don't watch it. I'm telling you this for your own good. Okay. And I'm sure I've got some of y'all real interested at this point, but consider the feelings of others. Okay. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Here we go. As Rocky continued to run her fingers through the cat's lush coat, the daydream began. Follett could see it begin. The porch in front of Rocky became misty, and what was once well-worn wooden planks became a wildflower-filled meadow. The sun in the daydream was brighter and further overhead than the sun over the cabin. And in Rocky's daydream, Rocky walked into the meadow, wearing jeans and a t-shirt and short, straight hair parted on the side. And in her dream, Rocky was a young man. His long legs were well muscled under the denim. His arms showed the pleasing effects of lifting weights or maybe of working on a farm. His stomach under the t-shirt was flat and above his six pack, his chest bulged with powerful pectorals. Rocky looked at Follett and said, I'm glad you're here with me. I've wanted you for a long time. Rocky walked to Follett and embraced him, slipping his right hand around Follett's waist and putting his right hand around Follett's shoulders to grasp Follett's left shoulder from behind. Rocky full, pulled Follett to him and whispered, kiss me. Rocky took the lead and put his lips on Follett's, opened his mouth and pushed his tongue into Follett's mouth. Rocky's mouth was wet and warm and insistent. Rocky's tongue chased Follett's in their kiss until Rocky broke away. Rocky slipped his t-shirt over his head and then reached to slip Follett's over his head. Rocky put his hand up, fingers lightly touching Follett's chest. Rocky put his palm on Follett's nipple and closed his fingers over Follett's peck, squeezing until his fingers met at Follett's hard nipple to pinch it and pull it gently at him. Follett closed his eyes and softly gasped at the pleasure of it. Rocky lowered his mouth to kiss Follett's nipple. Rocky put his lips around Follett's aureole, sucked Follett into his mouth and closed his teeth on his nipple. Follett put his hands on the back of Rocky's head and pushed into him. Rocky bit Follett softly and then nipped Follett harder. He broke away and stood up again to kiss Follett's lips. Follett could feel his heart racing as the kisses intensified. Follett let his right hand slide down Rocky's side to his hip and then back to his jean-covered buttocks. Follett grabbed Rocky's muscled ass and squeezed it, pulling him closer, feeling Rocky's hardness push against Follett's now hardening cock. Rocky took his mouth from Follett's. He stepped back so that Follett could see him and unfastened his belt and unbuttoned his jeans and lowered the zipper and slid them down over his hips. As the soft jeans moved down his thighs, Rocky's cock sprang out. It was hard, slightly throbbing. Rocky was uncircumcised and the head of his cock was pushing out of his foreskin. Rocky kicked off his jeans and knelt in front of Follett. Rocky took control, loosening Follett's belt and buttoning his jeans and sliding Follett's zipper down. Rocky slid his hands between the jeans and the skin of Follett's hips, moving them down. Follett's pants fell and he stood in front of Rocky wearing only light blue boxers. Rocky pulled open the fly of Follett's boxers. He reached into the soft cotton fabric and took Follett's penis in his hand as if he were shaking a hand. As Follett felt the warmth of Rocky's hand grasping his manhood, he could feel himself becoming aroused. As Rocky held Follett's rock-hard dick, he changed his grip on Follett so that his thumb and forefinger clasped Follett's shaft just below the head. Rocky slid his fingers up to pull the foreskin down and expose the now reddish blood-filled member. Follett closed his eyes, a soft moan escaping from his lips. Rocky lowered his head to kiss Follett's cock. His warm, soft lips gently touched Follett, as mild as sunlight falling on the petals of a summer rose. Rocky opened his lips to surround the tip of Follett's needful cock. 
and thought came, spewing jism all over Rocky's lips and nose and cheeks, and in a wild spasm into Rocky's hair. Follett shudders in, in the frenzy of his ejaculation, and he nearly fainted with joy. Didn't expect that, said Follett. No one expects the spontaneous emission, said Rocky, grinning as Follett's sperm ran down his face to his chin and down his neck. Follett lowered himself to his knees. He moved his mouth to Rocky's face and carefully licked his cum from Rocky's chin. With his cum in his own mouth, Follett moved his mouth to Rocky's opening to him so that Rocky could taste Follett's ejaculation. Rocky sucked the musky cream from Follett. Mmm, you taste good, Rocky said. Then Follett licked Rocky's neck clean, pausing to suck on the strong muscles that supported Rocky's head, before moving back to kiss Rocky again and share the taste of their loving. Follett used his tongue to wipe Rocky's cheeks and hair, tasting Rocky's sweat and skin and hair mixed with his own spunk. And the heat flaring through Follett's head and loins increased. As Follett ran his tongue over the ridges and hollows of Rocky's ear, Rocky hissed to Follett, Baby, I want to fuck your ass. Follett softly replied, I I've never done that before. Rocky pulled away from Follett, took Follett's face in his hands, looked deeply into Follett's eyes and whispered, I've never done that either. Follett leaned toward Rocky's face and kissed him, quickly but meaningfully. Then Follett sat and lay back, raising his knees and spreading them so that Rocky could gaze upon his erect cock, bulging scrotum and virginal pink anus. Rocky knelt between Follett's legs, and bending his waist to hover over Follett, Rocky put his left hand on the ground, just below Follett's armpit, and propped himself above his new lover. As Follett felt Rocky's body above his, Follett wrapped his legs around Rocky's thighs, holding him. Rocky lowered his head to kiss Follett, and Follett ran his hands through Rocky's hair, concentrating on letting his mouth tell Rocky the ecstasy that Follett felt. Follett's cock was as hard as stone, and he felt Rocky's dick rubbing against his cock to cock. The two rubbed their erect dicks together like two Spanish swordsmen met in a duel. This duel was to the little death. Rocky pushed with his hips, and Follett felt his balls touching Rocky's sack. So soft, so sweet, so full. Rocky pulled away from Follett's kiss and moved back to adjust himself between Follett's legs. He looked down at Follett and smiled. Follett looked down his belly and let his eyes fall on Rocky's cock, standing fully erect, thin and pale and longer than Follett had expected. Rocky saw that Follett was looking and curled his fingers around his own member and stroked himself slowly, tip to base. Once, twice, three times, and then again. Follett took his own penis, curling his fingers in the groove just below the bulb and squeezed. The head of his cock inflated with this pressure, and Follett felt a rush of excitement. Rocky watched Follett handle himself. Then Rocky let go of himself and brought his right palm to his mouth and spit. He moved his hand to Follett's ass and let the warm saliva drip off his hand and onto Follett's sphincter. Rocky placed his middle finger in the center of the little muscle and pushed the spit around Follett's anus, pressing at the clenched opening. Then he moved his hand from Follett's anus to hold it under Follett's mouth and said, Spit. Follett spat into Rocky's hand, and Rocky moved his wet hand back to Follett's ass to rub the spittle deeper into Follett's bunghole. When Follett's bum was soaked in spit, Rocky pushed his middle finger into Follett again, let it slide out, and then pushed back into Follett, but this time with his middle and index fingers together, opening Follett a little more. Follett gasped at the new sensation and squeezed his cock harder. Easy, baby, easy, Rocky breathed. If you're going to take my cock, we have to prepare you, open you. You're doing fine. Okay, but be careful. I'll take care of you, Rocky whispered. And then Follett felt Rocky's two fingers spreading him wider and thrusting deeper into him. There was pressure now and a little pain. Ow, okay, baby, we'll slow it down a little. Rocky felt Follett's fingers slide out of him. And Follett slid his own fingers wrapped around his dick from the tip to the base of his cock. Follett exhaled and felt his heart thudding in his chest. He closed his eyes and felt his body. He was warm and excited, and he wanted to feel Rocky inside him again. More Rocky. Then Rocky spit into his hand again and rubbed the spit into Follett's ass again. Rocky straightened and moved his left arm so that it slid behind Follett's right knee. Follett saw what Rocky wanted and moved his left leg so that he rested his calf on Rocky's shoulder. Follett stroked his cock with one hand and reached to touch Rocky's chest with the other. And then Follett felt something different. It was round, and soft, and almost spongy at first, but just behind that slightly yielding bulb was hardness pushing into his ass. Rocky's erection. Rocky spit into his hand again. Follett felt Rocky's hand between his thighs and something wet 
falling on the skin of his upper thighs. Rocky's hand moved back and forth, stroking his clock, cock as he pushed his hardness into Follett's welcoming ass. Rocky's dick thrust into Follett's ass. There was pressure, insistent and exciting. The pushing into him was a new sensation, just at the edge of being painful, but feeling so good as it happened that Follett wanted more and more. Follett stroked his cock leisurely. There was still time. And then he felt a change in Rocky's pushing. Rocky slowly pulled out of Follett, almost completely, and then he thrust hard into Follett again. Rocky began a rhythmic thrusting. Follett pushed toward Rocky when Rocky slammed into him, and Follett pulled away from Rocky when Rocky pulled out. Follett moved his hips in a small circle and found new sensations as Rocky's hardness fucked him again and again, each onslaught unique, irresistible, and powerful in its strange allure. Follett stroked his cock and sensed that Rocky was coming to his climax. Follett pulled at himself faster and faster, just as Rocky fucked Follett's ass faster and faster. Suddenly, Rocky pushed deeply into Follett, deeper than ever before, and cried out. Follett could feel Rocky's penis spazzing him inside him. And when he felt Rocky's release, Follett came too, jism spurting out all over his belly. As he climaxed, Rocky collapsed and fell onto Follett. Follett's cum coated his belly, and their tor torsos squirmed against each other. As Rocky's paroxysms lessened, he pulled out a Follett, and the two lovers lay wrapped in each other's arms. Rocky moved his face to Follett's. Their lips met and they kissed, soft lips meeting, wet tongues touching, tasting the sweetness of each other. They lay together for a while, hands touching skin, eyes closed in afterglow, and then the dream began to end. Rocky began to fade from Follett's sight. The meadow that was the setting for their lovemaking began to turn to mist. Follett knew that Rocky saw him fading too.